Hello students, welcome back to the class. So last class we have discussed about the Corruptions and Anti-Corruption Act. So in this last class we have discussed about the corruption. Corruption is nothing but whenever uh, dishonest behavior of those persons who are in power. Whenever the uh, persons who are, whenever the persons have dishonest behavior, so then that is called as corruptions. So you can find in the higher positions mainly they will behave in a dishonest way for taking a bribes, okay, under table transactions, okay, gift, okay, double transactions. So that all things comes under the corruptions. Whenever the people, whenever the a person who make the dishonest behavior, who uh, whenever the persons make the dishonest behavior who are in the power, they were called as corruptions. Mainly these corruptions are mainly involved in the public sectors where mainly we can find in the public sectors only who are in the powers, who are in the various positions, mainly that people are involving in the corruption practices, who are in the power, how they are getting power by government. So we can find in the last class we have seen that various forms of corruptions India has been unearthed, okay, 2G spectrums, commonwealth, okay, and uh, coal mine scams. So this is one of the biggest uh, corruption scam. So one one corruptions if you see that no, overall it is more than lakhs and crores of rupees. So lakhs and crores of rupees were completely corrupted. Due to the effect of corruptions it will greatly affects upon economy. Okay, It will affect greatly upon the system of administration. So whenever a small group of people are doing the corruptions then what will happen the system of administration have to face the charge. So this will greatly affect the system of administrations also. Okay, and most of the corruptions are involving in various types of fields such as uh, various types of sectors we can find such as, such as police department, income tax department, sales tax department, exercise duty also. In terms of exercise duty actually government discourage some goods uh, uh, should not be uh, to prohibit certain goods the government have imposed some exercise duty so that the people should not buy the goods from the other country. But there are some custom officers and exercise, uh, there are some officers what they will do, they will encourage the goods. So a custom duty, exercise duty, in various sectors if you see there are various uh, departments will be there. In these departments mainly we can find the corruption practices are getting charged. Now we will go forward here, corruptions are, uh, uh, corruptions will greatly affect the system of administration I said, economy of the country because all the money completely diverted towards a single person. Instead of having that, due to these corruptions only we are getting regional imbalance. All the political parties are diverting all the funds toward his pocket. When all the political parties diverting all the economy or all the income towards his pocket, what will happen? He will develop but on the other hand large section of people, we can find major section of the peoples will not get the taste of development, major section of the peoples cannot receive the development uh, and especially the grassroots level of the sectors of the people cannot uh, receive the uh, taste of the development. Now here uh, if you see the transparency international as well as non-government organizations are there, they will monitor, they will observe the situations and they published uh, uh, various corporate and political corruptions all over the world. So there are some organizations they will monitor the situations. So these organizations are from the international level also and these organizations are not a government organizations, there are from NGO, okay. There are non-government organizations, they will modify, monitor the situations. After monitoring the situation, they will publish about the various uh, corruptions all over the world. Maybe some corruptions which are in the business that is corporate corruption for the profit and some are political corruptions. So some groups of the people, especially the non-government organizations and international organizations, they will monitor the situations and they will publish the corruptions. <coughs> so this non-government organization, they will prepare an index which is called as Corruption Perception Index. So based upon, uh, based upon the information, they will prepare an index and that is called as Corruption Perception Index. According to this Corruption Perception Index, they will publish that uh, rank, ranks will be published. In this co corruption perception index, uh, there mainly we can find a rank, which countries is, uh, is the highest rank in terms of corruptions, which countries are the lowest ranks in terms of corruptions or in which country there is no corruptions. So everything will be published in the corruption perception index we can find. 
so corruption practices and this corruption persistent index are from across all over the world so they will uh, make all the corruption perception index from across all over the world in 2009 if you see students uh, india's rank is nearly 80 out of 180 countries india's ranks in terms of corruption is nearly 80th rank so that is actually not good rank okay it shows clearly that in india also okay there is more corruptions okay because of this corruptions in asian country okay this is the main problem in our country corruption we are not developing a study conducted in 2008 okay a study was conducted in 2008 in which what they have made a report in that report they have published that nearly 40 percent of the india have a first first hand experience of paying the bribes for government jobs or any jobs okay so it it suggested that nearly 40 percent of the people they have a first hand experience how to get the job by paying money so a study conducted and this study was conducted in which year this study was conducted in 2008 according to this they have published a report that 40 percent of indians they have first hand experience of how to get the job by giving the money this is one point normally we can find for example uh, there are many sectors various sectors we can find such as uttar pradesh and bihar where we can find uh, large number of teachers are getting recruited appointed and most of the jobs how they got by obtaining uh, uh, by uh, giving the money okay and obtaining the duplicate certificates okay that is also one type of corruption only so once again i'll go forward children we have we are learning about the corruptions and anti corruptions so corruptions are nothing but whenever if you if you find uh, corruptions are not, uh, nothing but dishonest behavior of those persons who are in the power that is called as corruptions taking bribes taking in the form of gift taking money okay under table transactions okay taking in the form of any type of various gifts inside as well as outside the premises that that all things comes under the act of corruption only okay now come to the point if you see that in the transparency international and non government organizations now this corruptions comes under the crime so in the last class we have discussed that corruptions because there are various forms of corruptions corruptions we can find every time we can find the debate is going on for the corruptions in the media or in the public house corruption is a main problem in our country this will greatly affect the system of administration as well as economy of the country and uh, we, can, we can find that india india our government has have government has unearthed different and various forms of corruptions in the country such as we can find 2g spectrums we can find commonwealth games where india uh, was given the responsibility of hosting the games funds were also diverted by the parliament but all these funds were disutilized and diverted towards corruption okay 2g spectrums coal mine scams also in coal mine scams what happened there are some ministers which are under the mining sectors this ministers has given permission to the private sectors to mine so in this uh, we can find more than lakhs of crores of rupees were completely mined these are nothing but the public sectors these are nothing but these are the people income so the people income are going towards the corruptions way so this is not this corruptions in the last uh, classes we have discussed about 2g spectrums commonwealth spe games coal mine scams okay others housing scheme so this is nearly lakhs and crores of rupees funds were getting diverted and this will greatly affect the economy as well as system of administration corruptions are not only practiced they are practicing in the various fields we can find such as in police department income tax department sales department excise duty department so various departments uh, village development offices mainly people from the different uh, offices who are in the highest positions are involving in the corruptions now and also we have studied that there are some organizations like transparency international as well as ND, ngo non government organizations are monitoring and uh, situations and they are publishing about the corporate and political corruptions all over the world so these non government organizations are preparing the corruption perception index according to the corruption perception index they are publishing the ranks in this ranks it, it is mentioned that uh, which country is the highest uh, uh, which country ranks first in the highest number of corruptions or which country which is not taking corruption everything will be detailed according to the rank based upon their corruptions so this uh, perception corruption perception index was published from all over the world 
If you see the 2019, we can find the India rank is nearly 80. Out of 180 countries, the rank of India is nearly 80. A study was conducted. According to the study, there are nearly this study and the survey was conducted in 2008. According to the study, it shows that nearly 40% of the people they know the first had first hand experience of getting the job by paying the money. So this is also one point. So Children will meet, uh, th this is about the corruption children. We have discussed about the value of corruptions. This is uh, the main thing which is affecting the countries uh, mainly because of this corruption only. We have to control the corruptions. Okay, so thank you very much. We will meet you in the next class and we will continue the same topic of corruptions. And what is the anti-corruption act which was passed by government. Thank you very much.